There's multiple ways which we get our dogs and ones through the local pounds. When we arrive there, we take information from the rangers. We then go and have a look at the dog in kennel, see what the behaviour is like. We see if it can handle handling, how it responds to strangers. Then we lead it up, we take it into another area and we test it with a dog, usually from in there. We see how that goes and then once we're happy with that, we put as many dogs as we get in that pound in the van and then we go to the next pound and we repeat the process again. Then we bring the dogs back to the refuge and then it spends 10 days in quarantine. After that period, they get assessed again and then they get made available for adoption. They're also regional pounds that we service to. We travel far and wide. We've even brought dogs down from the Northern Territory, Albany, Bunbury, Bustleton, Kalgoorlie, Geraldton, Caratha, Port Hedland, you name it. We're out on the road bringing in dogs that need to find a forever home. The surrender process commences with a phone call where we take details from the owner about the dog. There are many reasons why owners surrender their dogs. It can be a very emotional experience for an owner. We show empathy, understanding and compassion with each and every owner surrendering their dogs. When the dogs arrive here at the Dogs Refuge home, we settle them into kennel by giving them a nice comfy bed, as well as a yummy bowl of food and lots of toys to play with as well. Every single dog's a little bit different in how they settle into the kennels, so we modify those toys and bedding accordingly. It's very important for us to have volunteers helping us out here because the sheer amount of space, dogs and work that we have is often too much for the staff to do on their own. Walking the dogs is a big part of the volunteers' day as well as just enrichment by spending time with them in the kennels. They also spend some time in our various yards and also our cocoa area which is reminiscent of a living room. So if someone wants to come through and adopt a dog, the first process would be to fill out a questionnaire online. That questionnaire will reveal to us a few of your living arrangements, people in the house, working hours, any other pets, things like that. All the family members, any other pets must meet the dog that you want to adopt before it goes home. And if all that goes well, walk well, out the door basically. For each dog when we do an assessment we have to look at things like is the dog social with other dogs, is the dog going to be good in a home with young children, that's really important, there's a lot of things to consider and we want to make sure that these dogs are going out to the most suitable homes. The reason we charge an adoption fee is to help cover some of the costs that are associated with the vet care that we provide for our dogs. Every dog that comes through the refuge has a thorough health check with the vets. They receive their vaccinations and microchips at the same time. They also get flea and worm treatments. We also cover the cost of their sterilisations. If any other health conditions are picked up at their health exam, we also cover the cost of extensive medical care. The adoption fee only covers a small portion of what we spend on the medical and the rescue costs for every dog in our care. There's a few different reasons that we do foster dogs out here. Main one being stress and anxiety. Many dogs don't cope in the busy shelter environment. We also foster out pregnant dogs, mums with puppies or dogs with medical conditions. So when the dogs leave with their forever families, it's a nice reminder of all the hard work and resources that we as staff and volunteers have put into each individual dog to ensure that they find their forever homes and land on their feet.